Welcome to our next Q&A session with respect to mathematics. If this is your first time of being in this session, click on the subscribe button and press the notification button so that anytime we upload new videos, you get notified so that you don't miss anyone. Today, we are moving on to fractions. And our first question in fractions is this. Simplify three whole number one divided by two plus one divided by four minus two whole number one divided by three. This is a question that used to be bothering my students, so I took it upon myself to take you through this for the first time before we proceed to other lessons. Right. So when a question is given in this form you see that we have mixed numbers or mixed fractions and then proper fractions or blended. You can see these in the question. So at times it gets confusing, right? Good. When it comes to this, we have two ways of solving it. We have two ways of solving it. The first one is you can decide to solve the whole numbers first. Okay. For instance, this three here is the whole number in this mixed fraction or mixed numbers. This two, negative two, is also a whole number in this mixed fraction or mixed numbers. Good. So, you can decide to solve them, either add or subtract first, and then you add or subtract the proper fractions also, after which you put them together. But, to my perspective and to the, my experience, I've got to know that some students get confused when it comes to using that method. For instance, you see that this fraction here, one divided by four is not having any whole number. So in this case, how am I going to do it? And also after adding the whole numbers somewhere and then solving the proper fractions also separately and putting them together, some students get confused, okay? So to be at the safer side, I will encourage you to stick to one method or one approach so that you can use that one anywhere or anytime you're solving fraction questions in this format. Now let's stick to one approach following. Right, so to solve this question, the approach we are using is first to change the mixed numbers or the mixed fractions to improper fraction. After that, then we proceed to the next step. So by changing the mixed fraction to improper fraction, what you're going to do is you multiply the whole number in this fraction by the denominator and you add the results to the numerator. Then you divide it by the denominator as your improper fraction. So when you come here, you do the same thing to this one. This is what I mean. Multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the results to the numerator. So in this case, you see 3 multiplying 2 will give you what? You get 6. And then you add the 6 to 1, you get what? 7. So you write it as 7 divided by 2. That is your improper fraction for this mixed fraction or mixed numbers. Now you bring your addition sign. You write your proper fraction 1 divided by 4, then minus, now let's convert this mixed fraction or mixed numbers to improper fraction. What did you get? Right, let's proceed. So you multiply these two by the 3, you get what? 6. Then you add the numerator to it, making 7. So we have 7 divided by 3. After reaching this step, what you are going to do is to find the LCM for the denominators. When we say LCM, we are talking about the lowest common multiple of the given numbers. And in this case, the given numbers are the 2, 4, and then 3. So let's find out the lowest common multiples of 2, 4, and 3. Do you know how to find them? Okay, let's plus on that. So let's come to this side and then do a rough work here. Mm -hmm. We have our 2 
let's find the multiples of 2. We have multiples of 2. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and the rest. Now let's move on to 4. 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and the rest. Now let's move on to 3. 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and the rest. Now we are done with the multiples of 2, 4, and 3. So we are going to find the common multiples. We mean the multiple which can be found in the multiples of 2, 4, and 3. Okay, that number is common to all these multiples. So we have, when you check, we have 2, we don't have 2 here, 4, we don't have 4 in all. So in all, you see that we have 12. 12. 12. So 12 is a multiple, common multiple for 2, 4, and 3. What again can you find as a common multiple? No, we didn't get any common multiple again. So that is our first common multiple for 2, 4, and 3. And that becomes the least or the lowest common multiple. So we are going to use that one as our LCM for 2, 4, and 3. That becomes the main denominator. So now you underline it. Then you write your 12. So... You divide this LCM by the denominator and then you multiply the results by the numerator. You come here, you divide the LCM by the denominator and you multiply the results by the numerator. You did the same thing to this side. So let's move on. 12 divided by 2 gives you what? 6, right? Good. So you multiply the 6 by the numerator 7 plus... 12 divided by 4 gives you what? 3. Good. So you write your 3. You multiply it by the numerator 1. Then 12 divided by 3 gives you what? You get 4, right? Good. So 4 multiplying the numerator. So this is our next step. Our next approach. Now that we are done with this approach, you have to multiply each of them and then after which you add or subtract, okay? So let's proceed. This one was just a rough work that we did to help us find the lowest common multiple for our denominators. So I'm rubbing them off, okay? I'm cleaning on so that we get more space to solve our main question. Now that we are done, Let's multiply this. 6 multiplied 7 gives you what? 42. So we have 42 plus 3 multiplying 1 gives you what? Okay, 3 minus 4 multiplying 7 gives you what? 28, right? Good. So after that, you divide the results by the main denominator 12. So 42 plus 3 gives you 45, right? Then you subtract 28 from it. That one gives you what? 17. So our result is 17 divided by 12. You can leave your answer in this form, but consider the question given to you. You were told to simplify these fractions of which we were having mixed fractions or mixed numbers in them. This is an example of a mixed fraction, mixed numbers, mixed numbers, okay? So when you are done, you have to convert the results back to mixed fraction as your final answer. Because you see that the answer you are going to get is in a form of what? Improper fraction. So let's change it back. Now this is how you change improper fraction to mixed fraction or mixed numbers. You divide the numerator by the denominator. You write the number 
which you get as the whole number, and then the remainder as the numerator, okay? So 17 divided by 12 gives you what? 1. And then remainder what? 5. So you write your 5 divided by 12. So this is our answer. If you have any different means of solving it, leave it in the comment box. If you have any question too, you can leave it there. Check the description for the link to the next video as well as the previous ones. You can also visit our website as massstudyroom.blogspot.com for more lessons.